seek odd for a musty crypt. It cannot be the dead they're protecting. I should not be seen in this area. Why did Leofric ride out in a hurry like that? What's going on? His lordship is strict his confidence. Was it the king's orders? And the rest of us are just supposed to stay here, like sitting ducks. If you don't cut your whaling, that's exactly what we'll be. So keep your voice down. But I don't like this. Not one bit. down here.
must be getting close. Sneeze loud enough and these walls will come down, looks like. Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! You'll have to kill me! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony.
Get me off this thing! Yeah. You, you, you think you've won? You haven't. Lyafris, I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you. A rancid disease. You don't deserve mercy. To the victor, the spoils. To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. Avon! This way! We need to go. Fast! Right behind you. Borgred, you old beauty. I hardly recognize you. Yeah. Here we are. Look familiar? No. No, you... You godless slugs! You won't get away with this! Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealots? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all very really good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock. But you, 
are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Ragnarsson. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. People change. And it may be that you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. did myself again. <sighs> did I miss the crowning? How much did we drink? I don't remember this at all. Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. Sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision that you are unfit to rule and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. Forgive me. 
the robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom, and the favours of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... Uh... <coughs> you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I... I do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! You better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. He'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. Reach the walls. I must find Chelbert. Any sign of Chelbert? No. The boy is likely cowering in a haystack somewhere. Keep an eye out. They have breached the walls. I must find Chelbert. seen Chelbert? No, but we caught sight of Leofrid fleeing across the river. He's chasing someone. 
It has to be Jailbeard. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud thing. Jailbeard, he's in trouble. I won't back down, Leofrey. I will not. You won't make this hard me strength. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofrey, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leuvret. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leuvret. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. You're finished. No. Fight me, heathen. It. No appeal to your god? Or your king? I swore an oath to Sir Borgrin to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor. You have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. 
Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chailbeard. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You were right about him, Chelbert. You're right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Birds. Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Oatlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. And everyone has gained something. Silver, honor, allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil. All across Mercia against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Aveling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist. It's a sign of friendship. I should you call. The brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. 
See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Cast about this land, my friend. Statue the zealots use. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those zealots off my back. What is your name? Nay. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you. It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. All I can say for certain is that this leaf will fall. You should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That way, if your father never returns, your heart will not break. But if he does, You'll weep with joy. I haven't thought of it that way, but it is a simple idea to live by. You're right. I must carry on with or without him. Thank you, Eivor. May the Lord be with you. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes. A little longer. With your life, May, everything will be all right. I am 
one with the earth, with the air and water and fire and... What is the other? Clouds. Tree bark. What is that smell? These breaches are too big. Elderberries. Stay put, you fool. You must let the effects wear off. Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is ripped. Glory! Ah, a brave steed has swept me up. Onward to my loyal companion. If I don't stop him, something or someone this forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. in my body, but it is my Hulgur that will prevail! I cannot feel my lips or my nose. Why does the sun burn so hot? This area is off limits. My... You keep this up, you're going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! I'm going to have to drag you back myself, eh? struck by a sudden wave of tired i am tired <laughs> my saga is complete and it is the envy of all who came before and all who are yet to come There is no resisting this lasting legacy I have forged. A wise man said it best. To resist is to piss in the wind. Oh, if my mother could see me now. And it is the envy of all who came. Your skull. Gods. Is he dead? No, but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face and keep your distance. You'll throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice. Send for your trouble, which is now my problem. <sighs> I've got some new pieces with your name on them. We have talked so little since our first days, Yanli. And I know nothing about you. How did you come to live in England? I wish I had a more intriguing story for you. I came from Sun Sao, far from here, for no real reason. Curiosity, I suppose. This is not an exotic story. A young woman, excited by the prospect of travel, granted passage on a trading boat. Do you miss your home? 
Yes, often. I intend to return one day, or perhaps coax some friends and family to join me here. But I am in no hurry. Well, you're most welcome here. Oh, <laughs> I should soon have a few spices from the East to add to our feasts. As much as I love your hospitality, your food is... Mm. Well, you are doing your best. May I see your stores? Only a true warrior can pull that off. Perfect. I'll happily take this. Eivor, you should definitely get this. This was made for you. Done shopping for the day? I have to go. See you soon. Until next time, Eivor. Have you seen Wallace? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. So glad to see you. He can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. Show me what lies ahead. Oh no! Eivor! Over here! set of tools. If they belonged to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. I don't recognize him. 
It has a familiar sourness, but I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Hmm. Wallace well, <sighs> stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? <laughs> Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Eivor! Eivor! Come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? Petra, where are you? Come! Petra! Hello! Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? Bitch. Ah, the elk. You will know where she has gone. I am... I am sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life, but right here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic, I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to Sutunger's Hall! What have you done with Petra? Done to Petra! Answer me! Stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra! I must know the truth! I must know where you are! Evil, I am right here. There is no need to question and carry him further. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now come! I believe I know where we'll find Jonas. Up there! His trail leads this way! Petra! I met your old friend, the White Elk, but he vanished before my eyes before I found you. You were visited! For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? Mm. 
for? Come on! I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? Come to me. I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! No, no, no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Sunin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirrel. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? <laughs> Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. It slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission. I suppose it will do for the moment, though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire at its peak. You don't like it? It's not that. It's just not terribly Roman. It needs more. More relics, more statuary, more... room. If you happen to find any distinctly Roman artifacts on your travels, bring them by. We can make something of this mess yet. Eivor, have you ever been in love? Why do you ask? I wonder if you know the feeling of having your very heart pulled from your chest as it pursues the elusive object of your desire. 
I wonder if you have ever known the bitter agony of seeing your beloved in the arms of another. I have known such a pain, and Maximus was its source. One of your lovers. Oh, gods, no! No, no, no! Maximus is a snake and a leech. A slime-encrusted, blood-sucking viper of a man. He stole from me my beloved. A perfectly preserved statue of a legionnaire. It is all I desire in this world. Lost, I heard. Maximus was holed up in and around London. Holding my beloved captive. Leering and pawing at it, no doubt. If you should ever see him, give him my regards. By that, I mean spit on him. Then recover my statue. Here you are. More relics for your collection. Show me what you found. Wonderful. And here is something for you. There should be more like this out there. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Bonum fortunum in your travels, Eivor.